Hello, people. Welcome to the show. I am Angela, your host of Six Figure CEO. Well, we are the Six Figure Lab broadcast. We come on every Wednesday. If you are first time listening to us, we we are here every Wednesday at the same time at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I am so honored to have all of those who return every single week back to listen and to tune in to the Six Figure CEO and the Six Figure Lab podcast. Without you, we would not have been able to accomplish the things that we have been accomplishing this year. I'm super duper excited that we have already crossed over the year threshold of us being an official podcast, um, broadcast, and a network. We have so many things that have been happened that have transpired and good things that are going to take place throughout the remainder of the year. As always, in the month of June, I take a vacation. This will be my first vacation that I have taken in a few years, meaning I'm actually going to go somewhere. The other times I've taken vacation, it was just me doing things around my house or just taking care of some things that I needed to take care of around my house. But this year is going to be absolutely different. And I am super fantastically excited about that. And I hope that you will take some time out this year to enjoy you because there's nothing like you. You are the most important person in your life and no one cares about you more than you care about yourself. Believe me when I tell you that nobody, I don't care who it is, cares about you more than you care about yourself. I am like stoked. I am excited. This past week, if you did not join me and the women from around the world who were at the Six Figure CEO three-day free boot camp, you missed out on a treat. Um, we had so many people that showed up, so many people sent encouraging words, encouraging messages to me, letting me know how um, great of a time they had and how much the information that was shared was very impactful to them. Um, it was incredible. And I'm so excited for all of the women who watched live and who watched the replay. For those of you who are now a part of the exciting community of women, welcome. And if you're listening to me, no matter where you are in the world, we are excited to have you here. And I'm honored to help you fulfill your life's dreams and goals of building a successful business and make great money while impacting in this world, the people that are around you and the people that come into your space to be impacted by the gift that you are because you are a gift to the world. It is an honor to have experienced the moment that we share together. And it's also an honor to support you to make an even greater impact with your life changing gift. I have more exciting news. I just can't contain it. You know, there's a song that said, I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control. Nah, I don't think I'm going to lose control, but I like what I'm going to share with you. So I'm going to let you know right now, after the Six Figure CEO event, I decided to open the doors for the free two-day Awakening Your Femininity event. It's going to happen in May, May 27th through the 29th. It's just going to be for two days this time. And I'm inviting you to spend two days with me and other women around the world. You will get tools you need to make an impact in this world, to increase your finances, and transform lives. Here's what this Awakening Your Femininity event will look like. When you sign up for the Femininity Leadership course, 
you're gain, you're gonna gain everything you need to become a better female leader and entrepreneur. You'll also learn how to get rid of the emotional trauma and wounds that limit your divine femininity. You're gonna also learn how to own your own femininity power or your feminine power and use it to drive your goals. You're gonna learn how to craft, edit and share story that will skyrocket your sales and also how to master your craft, business and passions to earn more money than you were making prior to attending the event. We're gonna also talk about how to overcome those fears and stresses of public speaking. I, for an example, used to be extremely stressed out and had this fear, this nervousness when it came to public speaking and creating confidence on the stage with my presence. I'm no longer fearful of standing on stages and talking to people and standing in front of a camera and speaking and sharing my story with the world. We will kick off this event, this two day awakening your femininity event in just a few days, May 27th through the 29th. And I would love for you to join us. There's never been a better time than now to join Awakening Your Femininity and be the goddess you've always desired to be. I believe that we can do this together. And I welcome all of you in advance who are going to be a part when you sign up right now. I welcome you. I welcome you to be a part. I welcome you into the family of the Six Figure womanhood community. We're so honored to have you here. And so I'm just going to be very brief with you today. Just want to talk about something that I think is important on how to reverse engineer your success. You know, Henry Ford coined the phrase that says, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are usually right. And the word reverse engineer typically or it technically comes from the term and it can be described as the process of discovering the technological principles of device, objects or systems through analysis of its structure, function and operation. It often involves taking something apart and analyzing it, how it works, all the details, all the little gadgets. And I got that definition from Wikipedia. And so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how to begin to move in forward momentum. I know we're in the second quarter of the year, and I know most of us came out of the gate. First quarter of the year, we're, we were running like that um, greyhound when they put the rabbit on the little stick and they shoot the guns and the greyhound takes off running. A lot of us came out of the gate running and the first part of the year in 2022, but then there are some of us, uh, some of those who did not, it wasn't the same story. And they just cannot figure out how to get moving. How can we go about, how can I go about getting myself into the place where I'm having momentum, where I'm moving and I'm seeing success the way in which I desire to see it and as ex well as experience it. Remember, you're the one who's creating success. You're the creator of your reality. I just, I really want you to understand how powerful you are. You are an energetic um, being. This is not just a flesh. It's not just this body. Yeah, we need this body because the spirit world or the energy needs a host. And you are, your physical body is that host. And I want you to know that. I want you to know you're not just an ordinary individual, but you are powerful. Within yourself lies the entire collective universe. And when you come into the awareness of who you are, everything around you begin to shift and to change, even from the places you go, the conversations that you have, 
the money you attract, the people you attract, the things you wear, everything about you simply changes because your consciousness is the thing that's causing the things that are manifesting in your life to come. Now, I know we, we're not going to talk about that, but I just can't help that. That's a part of me. It kind of like just oozes out of me. I don't even try to talk about consciousness. It just comes. It's a part of who I am. I, I'm a spirit being. I'm an empath. I'm, I'm just connected to the entire universe, the collective. And when you succeed, it's a success for all of us. When you are hurting, it's a hurt for all of us. I feel your pain. I feel your joys. I feel your successes. And so all of you that are listening to me, I know that you are doing great things, but we're going to talk about how to begin for momentum. And so I apply my own interpretation of reverse engineering to my goals, whereby I analyze and take apart precisely what it is I hope to accomplish. Um, say, for an example, with starting to, if you want to lose weight or if you desire to travel or um, whatever it is that you desire to do, if you desire to um break your success down into small bite-sized pieces in order to build a framework so that you start from the very beginning um, thoughts to the goal to completion so that you can complete the task. And the steps that I like to take that will require me to be very effectively achieve and to achieve my, my goals and all of my ambitions is I start from the beginning and I work my way backwards. That's what reverse engineer is. So the four keys to reverse engineering for success are you have to be determined. Determination is the most basic level of achieving any goal. If you are not determined that you will win, that you will accomplish this, then you won't accomplish it. But if you think you can, as Henry Ford says, then usually you will. You can do anything. Anything is possible. Anything is possible if you think, not necessarily believe, but if you think you can, because the power is in the thoughts that you have about you. The power is in the thoughts that you have about that particular thing that you're trying or that you're manifesting, you're bringing from within you out. So if you think you can, or if you think inwardly out, you will create from the realm of the kingdom, which the keys of that kingdom or that invisible world lies within you, but you have to have determination in order to achieve that goal. Number two, you want to ensure that you are committed. You want to be committed to your goals. You want to be committed not just to your goals, but also to you. I mean, come on now. You got to be committed to you. You got to be committed uh, to you because commitment is what transforms a promise or an idea into a reality. It is that thing that makes what you are determined about come into the pure manifestation, raw tangibleness reality of what it should look like or what you've seen in the invisible world. For some people, commitment isn't easy. But when we say committed, it has the ability to help us achieve goals we may have only once dreamed of or imagined ourselves doing. Commitment is the ability to stick with something long after the initial excitement is gone. Because how many of you know that you can be excited about something one day and then the next day, I don't think I should be doing this. Things are not working for me. I don't know what's going to happen. So therefore, the excitement goes down. It's like an up and down going up a hill or a roller coaster ride up and down. You're excited one minute, the next minute you're not. So a commitment is that decision that you make and say, I'm going to have the ability or make the decision to stick with a project, stick with an idea, relationship, or goal, even when it's not easy. 
nothing can be accomplished without commitment. And it's going to be difficult most days. I'm not going to tell you that this is going to be easy because it's not. In a world where everything and everyone seems replaceable, it can be also easy to drop a project, to drop a goal without giving any genuine effort. Will it work out if you don't commit to it? Absolutely not. Not even close. But when you stay committed, we know that we gave it our all and everything is possible and we will accomplish that goal. Number three, identify as many steps as possible that are required for you to reach the goal. You want to identify the steps that it's going to take for you to get there. I'm going to break all of this down um, in the next section of this. And number four, you're going to take action. All right. Anybody knows about taking action? That means you have to put some movement behind what you are thinking. It's not enough just to think, but you have to put some action behind it. It's not enough to, you know, raise your hands and look in the sky and whisper a prayer or affirmation into the air. But I do believe that words are powerful. Words are that is, is that creative center to which we create. Words are that supply. Um, it is the part of our womb. Words come from our womb. And that is that cre- our womb is the creative center. So I have found that if I start off by envisioning or visioning a successful, completed goal and imagining what was required to get me there, it can help me identify what I need to do. And in order to get started, I begin from the most basic stripped down version of whatever that goal is. And I work from um, my home in the state that I'm living in, that I'm living in whether it it be is to just say, for example, I work from home in the state that I'm living in. And if my goal is to be an author or my goal is to own a spa or my goal is to travel or lose weight, I break it down in basic components that are required for me to succeed. Now, this thing works for everybody. A lot of the so most a lot of celebrities use this and influencers use this reverse engineer and they have become very successful. So how do you put reverse engineer into practice? Whether you want to move to a different state, some people have moved or a different country, whether you want to lose weight, write that book, uh, make a million dollars, get married, whatever the premises may be, it doesn't matter what it is the premise is going to always be the same. You start with your specific goal first and work the steps out in reverse. For example, here's what I would do if I wanted to start working from home as a business coach and a personal development coach. Now, this example does not include every single step, but should give you an idea of how I would get started towards this goal. And as I said before, I am determined Because working from home as a person development coach or as a consultant, and I am determined that I'm going to earn enough to support my basic needs the very first year. How I stay committed, which is number two, we talked about before. I tell myself, do I really want to go and work for somebody else? Do I really want to do that? Will I be better off? on my own? And if I answer yes to that, which most of the time, all the time I do, because I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. And then if I, you know, if you do, I'm giving you this as as an example, then I move on to the next thing I begin to envision um, how the success of that goal being completed, how that's going to look. And I ask myself some simple questions. What does it take to accomplish a task at hand? What is it going to take for me to complete this task? What challenges will I face? Because there will be challenges along the journey. And what type of investment time or either money or either energy is going to be required for me to complete that? 
And so from my answer to these questions, I'm going to list out all of the steps that I think will be required in order for me to pursue my quest. Because remember, if you ask the right questions, it will lead you on the right quest. So I'm asking these questions to pursue the quest to become that business coach, personal development coach, and to own a, this other business or to have a skincare brand. And based off of me asking the questions that caused me to pursue the quest to do the things that I want to do, I have come up with a few things I'm going to share with you. And I want you to keep in mind over the next 10 minutes, because we're going to wrap this up in about 10 minutes from now. I want you to keep in mind that my goal or whatever your goal is. So if your goal is to quit your job and to start a business, my goal was to own a skincare brand and and I decided to do that in phases or to become a personal development coach or a business coach, whatever it is that I decided to do and you decide to do, I want you to, to begin to write these next few things down that I'm going to say, and I want you to work them in reverse order. Letter A, walk out the front door and don't look back. B, give notice. C, decide on a date for when you're going to quit that job. D, con you must have a contingency plan for employment if clients are not forthcoming in the next six months. E, what hours will you work? F, how much are you going to charge for your services? Is it going to be a flat rate or is it going to be an hourly rate? G, draft some keystone content for the blog. If you're going to create a blog, which it is to make an announcement to people about what you're doing and how they can benefit from the services that you have to offer. Eight, H, I'm sorry, start to put out fillers in your network, which means start to tell people about what you're doing. Start to let them get a feel for what's coming from you, what you're creating. Letter I, purchase your domain and set up a web website and your blog. J, can you afford to take a leave of absence from your current job or can you begin slowly by starting in your off time or even in the evening time? Okay. What is going to be the cost of health and liability insurance? Cause you're going to need to insure yourself. I, where are clients going to come from? M, what monthly expenses are you going to have or, or are you going to occur? occur? Do you have enough savings for six months to a year? So you're going to occur some monthly expenses. Do you have enough savings to take care of yourself as well as the other monthly expenses that are going to come in? In investigate the cost of, of a home office equipment and on going peripheral supplies. O, begin to tell a few selected people about what you hope to do. Because this really, when you start to tell people, then they can hold you accountable and it start to make it real. P, do you really have the talent and the drive to do what you are saying to be that business coach, to open up that business, to open up um, that bakery to open up that doctor's office. Do you really have the skills, the, the drive to make it in that arena? And letter Q, if you are married, does your spouse support this goal? Because I believe in spouses have 
come together and there should be some support because it's nothing like having a spouse that doesn't doesn't agree with what you're doing and they're not in support of what you are doing because that makes um that makes it kind of strenuous on the relationship if one spouse is not in agreement with it, it it causes strain unnecessarily on the relationship or how long have you been thinking about this and you want to also ask yourself, is this something that's just a whim or is this the real thing? S, be rational and don't quit right away. Now, in reverse engineering, I want you to still think about you're currently sitting in your house or you're sitting at that office job and you're thinking about how you're going to complete or achieve the goal of working in your own business. And you notice that we stopped at letter S. Letter S, I'm going to read it again. It says, be rational and don't quit your job right away. You're going to do a reverse engineering from the bottom up. So note that while you plan the steps from letter A to S, you're going to execute them in the order of S to A. And why does this work? To be sure, reverse engineering is a lot like any other planning exercise. Although I think it has worked for me because instead of just listing out the steps that I think I need at a random I must actually visualize myself doing that. And I'm a very big advocate of visualization, imagination, visualization, what you desire to manifest in this reality. If you don't see it in your mind, you cannot have it in your hand. And your feet can only take you where your imagination or your mind has already been. And the word imagination comes from the word images from another nation. Where are those? Where is that other nation? The other nation is that kingdom, that energy, magnetic pole that's on the inside of you. So you got to visualize yourself completing that goal. And I do. I don't take a trip anywhere. And it, that may not be a goal. But if I'm going to go anywhere and travel anywhere, if I don't see myself returning back to my home, I will not take that trip. It doesn't matter what trip it is. I could take a trip from here to Chicago. And I do the same thing every time I get on the airplane. Days before I'm, I'm planning this flight, I will sit and visualize myself going there safely and returning back home safely. Because if you don't visualize it, if you don't see it in your imagination, you cannot walk it out. It would not manifest. We invest we manifest from our mind, from visual visualization, and from the imagery that we hold in our mind, in our crown chakra. So not only does visualization helps by making the objective seem more tangible, but it also helps for me to put in the all important proper mindset to start taking action. That's the only way I'm going to take action is if I start visualizing myself doing it. So therefore, when I come to taking a flight, I actually pack my bags. I get the, well, first of all, I get the ticket. You know, then I start preparing myself, packing my bags, get my um, flight um, itinerary together, get my parking, all those different things, because I've already visualized myself taking this trip. And as I always um, I'm, as I always do, every single time I take a trip, I always do the same exact process over and over again. Now, this is just a system that I use. I'm always looking for um, 
ways to refine my system and to learn from each of you. So if you have something that you want to share with me, you can send it over in an email at info at Angela Y. Irvin.com. Share with me how you find success and what is the method that you use when pursuing a goal. How do you find success? How do you manifest it? And what method do you use when pursuing a goal? Well, folks, that's what I have for you today. I hope something was said that resonated with you. I am um, going to end it right here. And you will hear from me again, either in the boot camp, in our community. You will either get an email from me. If you want to be a part of our email list, you can also visit us at www.the6, I'm sorry, www.sixfigurelab.org. And you can send us over, um, complete the form that's on the page so that you can become um, a part of our community and receive newsletters from me each and every week. We're growing. Our community is growing. I'm super excited about the people that are joining. I'm excited about you. I'm excited to learn from you as you put your things in the email about the different systems that you have used. But I'm also excited to be able to share with you each and every week. All right. Until next time. I love you. Namaste. Have a good evening.